Hi, this is Cheryl and welcome to my channel. And I am doing a stained glass piece of uh, sun catcher of a little chick in a little pond. And I cut out all my glass pieces as you see here and they're all fitting up pretty nicely. So we will move on to grinding the edges with the grinding machine. So basically what we're doing is um, smoothing out the edges, making sure there's no uh, rough bumps or shards, and also making sure that we have our pieces trimmed down to exactly um, how the pattern should be so that we get a nice fit together with the other pieces. So I did this piece in, in a double time and then we'll they will pick up everything it's the speed for everything so we can get through um, and this video won't be so very long um, I know I promised a dragon's head and I have it all designed and I just need to get some glass for it uh, I have some specific idea in mind and color so um, that will have to wait until the next one um, and for all my painting fans, um, my bandit will be continued. I've been in the process of redoing my bathroom. So today I will be cutting tile for my bathroom. And so my artwork has to take a uh, back, si back seat on the burner just for a few days so I can get my bathroom back up and running again. So we proceed to, there's 11 pieces in this little chick. And I proceed to trim them out and, you know, buff out every all the edges, make sure that they're all nice and smooth and everything fits good. So I am wearing some plastic um, rubber finger protectors, which you can get on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. I am an Amazon affiliate. Um, I make a teeny tiny commission on anything that people buy through my links. So if you need anything... Um, if you purchase through those links, I'd appreciate it. That's helps support my artwork and my channel. Um, I also will have my pattern for the little chick up on my website for sale for a couple dollars. It's not expensive at all. It's just to help provide um, some cash for my website. And um, it helps support me a little bit. So um, if you're interested in doing this little chick, uh, you can purchase the pattern on artbysherylann.com. So here we have it. We're all ready to foil our pieces and I'm using the um, silver backed copper foil 730 seconds um, to foil these pieces. So what you need to do, and I'm doing a very tiny little beak piece right now, which is hard to see. So I'm placing the edges in the center of the foil, making sure it's in the center. And we want to overlap our foil by about a quarter of an inch and then um, gently fold over the foil onto the edges. So like in the case of um, sharp um, corners, you want to do it kind of like an envelope fold one side in and then fold the other side over top of it and then you need to burnish everything down and make sure that the foil is completely adhered to the glass. This is um, crucial to the uh, how well your soldering will turn out and you want to make sure that everything is pressed down against the glass real smooth. I'm using a clay stick um, so here you'll see I overlapped a tiny bit on the edge and if I left that my solder would actually go on there and, and it would it would look funny. So really what the crucial part is foiling. Foiling dictates how your solder is going to end up. Um, it's kind of a foundation so uh, as with anything you're building you need a good foundation. You need to cut your glass good have it all fit up nice and neatly and then do your foiling perfect and then your solder skills need to come after that. So I'm burnishing down this piece and if um, you notice that on the corners what you want to do is gently rub the foil 
so that it doesn't break. Um, especially on the inner corners, you want to make sure that you don't crack the edges of the foil. So what you do is you rub it and it heats up the copper and it will gently lay down on the side. But you have to kind of rub it and heat it up a little bit and do it gently. So like I said, I'm using a clay tool to uh, do this, but you can use anything, a pencil, whatever, um, to uh, do your burnishing with. So we speed through this and there's 11 pieces. See how I'm rubbing it? Rubbing it gently to get it to lay over. And if you do break your piece, don't worry, you can put a piece of foil over top of it. Um, but you need to make sure that the edge is covered um, and everything, the seams all match up nicely. I do have a foiler, but I haven't mounted it on a um, piece of wood yet, so I haven't been really using it. So if you like to work with glass, I mean, this is a cute little pattern um, that I came up with. And uh, I don't know, Easter's coming, so I thought a chick would be fun. This is what I do when I'm not painting. This or jewelry gives me a break but this past week I was unable to post up a video because I was working on my bathroom You know, it seems like there's always a project going on at this house. I have one more bathroom to do, and then this house has been totally redone. I won't have any more projects like this to go on for a while. So let me know if you want to see these videos in real time. I think this, I think, was like um, two hours that I had a videotaping. Um, I did not film the cutting of the glass in this one. Um, or would you prefer like a mixture like what I've done here? I've kind of got some segments where it's slower and you can watch closely. And then uh, I've got some sped up um, portions so that it wouldn't make the video too long. Let me know what you like. I like to hear from you. For those of you who like my watercolor and my painting. I'll have more, I promise. I know I have to get some more watercolors up for you. If you stick through this video, by the at the end I'll give you some pointers on soldering. Because there is a trick to it. I'm 
My wet saw is waiting for me, for my tile work for the floor. But it's too cold. I have to wait for it to warm up. So I thought I'd get this video up and running. Okay, it's all ready. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit it up and put these pins in to hold everything in place so that nothing moves around. And we take some um, my soldering gun, with the 6040 solder, and flux. And my soldering gun. And it's at 320 degrees. And what I want to do is just put a little tack, a little drop of solder at all the little corners to attach all the little pieces. Very simple little drop that will hold everything in place. So don't forget to use your flux. <clears throat> flux my piece. And what I'm doing here is I'm not looking for perfection as far as my bead goes right now. I'm just filling the seam with some solder. Just going over it real quick and filling it with solder. Okay, we're going to flip it over, put some flux down, and then what we want to do is we do want to make a nice seam on the back. Take your time and make sure you have enough solder down, and what you're looking for is a nice rounded bead, a smooth rounded bead. So we'll slow it down on the front side so that you can see. But for now, we'll just keep it going quickly to get the back done. Then I want to tin my edges. And it's basically putting a coat of solder on the edges. Don't forget, you need to use your flux. It will not work without the flux. Just going over it, making sure that my beads are good.
and let that cool down a tiny bit. And we are ready to do our tinning on the front side. And now we want to put some tinning on the edges. Now you need to hold your piece perpendicular and hold it so that um, your solder will not run off. So you need to keep turning your piece and I keep tapping the solder on to make sure I have a nice rounded edge. Now we'll slow it down to real time. And we'll talk about soldering. See how I'm going slow? I'm heating my solder up as I go so that it melts. And I'm running through the seams. I'm making sure that I have enough solder on to get a nice round bead. And at the joints, I go into each line to heat them up. And you keep pulling, making sure that you don't lift up. And when you come out of your line, you want to um, go horizontal. In other words, you don't want to pick up the soldering iron. You want to kind of slide out of it. Slide out of your line. So I'm heating up my joints, going into each line a little bit, heating them up so that my joints are nice and smooth and even. See how I slid out of there? I slid out of the line as I'm soldering. I keep tapping my solder to my iron if I, when I where I need more. Heating up my joint, going in and out of each line, and I slide out. Heating the solder up, going up into the joint and the other line just to heat it up a little bit and continuing. Adding some more solder as I need it and sliding out. Adding more solder as I need it. Into the other line. And continuing. Into the other line. And sliding out. So now as you do that, it does heat up the back side a little bit and you want to check and make sure that your beads are still good. 
you fix whatever you have to fix. We're at the point now where we just go over it and make sure that everything, see that little flat spot there? Easy to fix, just slide in and out, heat it up. Make sure your edges are all nice and smooth. And everything looks good. And there's no sharp points. And that's the back of it. And that's the front. But they look good from both sides. Okay, now we have to put our hanger on. And always with the sun catchers, you want to make sure that they're going to hang the right way. So you have to kind of offset the weight from one side to the other and decide how or where the hanger should be so that the piece will sit the way you want it. Of course, you want the little chick's pond to be horizontal when it's hanging. So it has to be more towards the head um, than the body because the, the head part has all the weight. The head side has the weight. So I think I'm going to put it right at the seam right there. So I put a little flux. I already tinned my little round jump ring. And I have a video on how to make them if you're interested. I'll put the link at the top so that you can see, uh, watch that video. It's very simple, very quick. Take a little bit of solder and just tack it on both sides. Let it cool down. Now, the tricky part is to finish um, soldering this to the piece without it falling off. So I use my wooden stick and just hold it down a tiny bit and put enough solder on there so I can blend it in so you don't see the actual jump ring on the chick. It's just solder. You want to make sure it looks pretty. Don't worry about the solder pieces on the back. They, they come right off the uh, little flex there. So turn it over and then just clean up your solder work on the front. And I had a drip of solder come down and it put some marks on my solder and I don't like that so I just clean them up by going over it again. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed so that you don't miss my future videos. And um, hit the bell so that you can get notifications when I put a new video up. And I appreciate that very much. And there you have it, a little chick sun catcher. And Easter's coming. Make sure it hangs straight the way I want it. And then you need to take it to the sink. I use Dawn detergent and a sp sponge just for 
uh, doing these sun catchers. And then I hit it with um, a little bit of um, pledge wax. But make sure you scrub it well with the sponge because you want to make sure you get all that flux off because it will tarnish your piece if you leave it on there. So don't forget to come back and see my future videos. I look forward to hearing from you. Put a comment in. Thank you.